Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am really excited about today's video because I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different transfers for you guys. Now, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you might know that I have been doing sublimation for probably like half a year now and that's kind of all I've really known and done when it comes to transfers that you apply to shirts. So I, of course, have known that there's way more out there when it comes to transfers. There is DTF, DTG, screen printing, white toner, HTV, sublimation and all I've ever really done is HTV and sublimation so I was like I'm gonna go purchase some transfers from a couple different vendors and I'm gonna try them out and make a video for you guys and let you guys see what the feel the cost um, the durability of all of these transfers are when it comes to that versus sublimation and HTV because I know a lot of us have not really experimented with that so I thought it would be fun to be able to compare and contrast all of them do the pros and cons and show you guys the different transfers out there because I know you might not be ready to go and purchase a printer or a machine that does all this so I was surprised to know that you can go and purchase the transfer is very reasonably priced, priced in vendors and be able to get them and make shirts for family and friends or even sell shirts with the transfers that you buy. So let's go ahead and get on into this video and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm so excited to get started and to be able to see all of it together. And then let's pick what our favorite is after we see the video. All right, let's go. All right, so here are all of our prints together. Um, like I mentioned before, we're gonna be doing sublimation HTV. This is a printed pattern HTV with regular HTV. We're going to be doing DTF. So two prints of that. And then we're going to be doing the screen print. So screen printing, we have one full color, which has multiple colors in it. And then we have one single color. So we're going to be doing all this today and we're going to be getting down into the nitty gritty of each. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're gonna talk about DTF, which is direct to film transfers. So I got these transfers from Nita and Eric here on YouTube. I'm sure you guys know who they are, but they are an amazing couple and they are so sweet and they've become really good friends of mine here on YouTube. So that is where I got them and they started their DTF journey several months ago. And so I knew when I watched their video of them converting everything, I was like, I gotta get my hands on some of those prints to try them out. And I'm so glad I did because the results are amazing. I test printed a couple of these for my daughters so I made them some shirts and the quality is so good. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. So I will leave Nita and Eric's shop down below as well as their YouTube channels if you guys want to get your prints there. Okay, so direct to film, what is it? So it is a transfer made with usually a converted printer that can be heat applied to any fabric content material. The appearance of the transfer is a waxy plastic feeling sheet that has a colorful and vibrant design that is permanent once applied and it will last wash after wash. So what's really cool about these is as you can see, they're really detailed compared to HTV or any other kind of um, application. And the thing I like about it is, is you can apply it to any shirt fabric content unlike sublimation that you can only do polyester you can do this to any other shirt you want really so that's what's cool about these okay so cost for transfers like this I kind of did some research and found that you're going to expect to pay at least six dollars plus for an 11 by 17 sheet but the cool thing about this is is if your design is smaller you can possibly fit more than one design on a sheet but just reach out to the owner or whoever you get it from and ask and see what they can do so the appearance and feel after application is similar to HTV with the feeling of it, but softer and more vibrant and more detailed and more colorful. There's way more options, obviously, like you're, if you're looking at it, you can't really do all of this with HTV. As you can see the other side of the print, it has kind of like a, um, a texture to it. I don't know how to explain it. It um, definitely f has a feeling and this is the part that's going to go onto your shirt But that is what the other side of the transfer looks like in case you are curious Okay, so when it comes to applying your transfer You're going to set your heat press to 305 degrees Fahrenheit and with a medium to high pressure You're going to press the print for about 15 seconds Take it off of the press and let it cool and once it is cool to the touch You're going to put it back on your press and press again for five more seconds now Keep in mind this is just what I did and it worked great But see what works for you in your particular press and you might be using something different But that is at least what worked for me
Okay, so next we're gonna talk about screen print transfers. So I got these at CSDS Vinyl. They had a ton of screens to choose from. So um, it was really cool to go and pick out the ones that I want. I got a bunch of different kinds. So um, something that you have to keep in mind with screen prints is these are the high heat. So it has a different temperature. They're multiple colors, so there's more layers. So I'm sure that has an effect as to why the time and temp is different. And these are the single color, which is a different temperature and different time. When you're ordering your prints, you can only get one size for adults is from what I've found and it's usually around 11 inches width and the um, height can vary depending but that's like kind of a standard size and then they have a youth size that is a standard size as well okay so screen printing what is it it is a transfer made by the process of screen printing using plastisol ink onto a special release paper and can be heat applied to any fabric content material the appearance of the transfer is like a paper with a painted texture feeling. It appears mirrored so that when you place your design down, you see just the paper. Once applied, it leaves either a single or multiple color design that is permanent once it's applied and it will last wash after wash. It will last, still probably outlast the garment itself. Okay, so the cost for something like this, it's very reasonable. Screen prints are a dollar for single colors. So that's why these are really popular. You'll find that a lot of people like to get these because you can literally buy them for a dollar, which is cheaper than sublimation, even doing sublimation yourself. So you cannot beat the price of that. Multiple colors are $3.50, which kind of is comparable to the DTF. As you can see, if you get multiple different designs on a sheet, um, that would average out to about $3.50 a piece. So that is the cost of the high heat and a dollar, around a dollar, is the cost for the single heat. All right, since screen printing has two different types, we have the high heat screen print, which is the multicolor, and then we have the regular low heat transfer, which is just the single color designs. So when you're doing a high heat screen transfer, so the multicolor transfer, um, you're gonna wanna set your press between 350 and 360 degrees. I went ahead and did 360 degrees, and you're gonna press that at firm pressure for about seven seconds, and you're gonna peel hot immediately. So that is how you do the high heat. So for regular low heat transfers, you are going to do a temperature of about 325 degrees, press firm heavy for seven seconds, and peel hot immediately. I did wanna mention that I also added a pressing pillow for the high heat transfers just because I was having problems with my first press, um, getting everything to adhere properly. So when I added that and increased the temperature to 360, I didn't have any problems. All right, so sublimation. I'm sure you guys have already seen a ton of videos on my channel about sublimation. I honestly really enjoy it just because of the variety of things that you can sublimate on. A lot of these other items or other transfers are kind of limited on what you can transfer on, but these, as long as there's polyester in it, you're, you're good to go. So the approximate cost if you're going to buy a transfer of sublimation is around $5, and it's cheaper, obviously, if you make it yourself. The paper's around a dollar a piece. You gotta factor in ink, which isn't very much with just a print. Um, so cheaper to make it yourself, but if you buy them, just expect to spend around $5. What is sublimation? It is done by a printer that has sublimation ink. Sublimation is a heat activated dye that dyes into the fibers of your material. Sublimation can be done on anything that has a special coating such as polyester, so shirts, mugs, signs, etc. Sublimation can only be done on high polyester count shirts, unlike the previous two that we talked about. Sublimation also has no white in the print. This is just showing through the background, but there is no white included in this print. So that's a downfall to a lot of people. And you can only sublimate on light colors for it to show up. The feeling of your material feels exactly like your shirt since it's dyed into the fibers. So that's the thing that a lot of people like about sublimation. It's very durable. It will outlive your shirt for sure. It is dyed into the fibers. So you, there's no feeling when it comes to sublimation like the previous shirts. So that is something, the reason that a lot of people like it, but you're very limited on the fabric content and all that. So that's why a lot of people just like using different transfers. So for sublimation, you're gonna set your heat press between 385 and 400. The higher the poly count, usually the lower you can go. So I do about 385. You wanna put butcher paper in between your shirt so the ink will not bleed through, which it will with sublimation. And you're gonna push at about light to medium pressure for about 60 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna talk about heat transfer vinyl, which is 
something that has been around for a long time and the first thing that I ever did when it came to shirts. So HGV is known as heat transfer vinyl. This is commonly made with your vinyl cutting machine. The cost to make is very low cost. As you see, you can get a big roll of HGV for pretty low cost and then you just cut a little bit out to make your design. HGV is a vinyl that when applied to heat, you can basically melt the vinyl into the fibers of the shirt and vinyl is known to not last forever and it doesn't have the best long life but it can last a long time if done properly. Use quality brand vinyl and if the shirt is washed and taken care of appropriately. So just inside out, you know, all that good stuff, just making sure that the shirt is taken care of, your HTV can last a while. HTV is typically done at around 305 degrees for about 10 to 15 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and now press our HTV shirt. So when it comes to HTV, you're gonna obviously pre-press your shirt and then you're gonna put your heat press to about 305 degrees Fahrenheit and you're gonna press your heat transfer vinyl at, for about 15 seconds. Um, I did two different vinyls, so I did obviously, I did a little bit of a pre-press for the first vinyl and then added on a little bit of time for my second vinyl and then did a final press at the end. So that's how you do HTV. All right, everyone, so here's how all the prints turned out. I'm really impressed with all of them, and we're gonna kinda go into the details of each here in a second. I'll kinda tell you what I prefer versus what I might not go towards. Um, so let's go ahead and get onto that now. So here is the HTV, as a lot of you probably have already done at some point in your life, or you might do now. So I guess the pros of HTV would be it's easy to do, it's cheap. Um, a lot of people already have the materials needed to make HTV themselves at home, so that is a very good low-cost option. You are able to get a lot of different uh, patterns that you can customize, but you're limited on details, such as like with sublimation, you can't really do that with HTV. So those of you who are doing like, you know, very simple stuff, totally cool and totally easy to do. Next is sublimation. Obviously sublimation is a favorite among a lot of people just because of the high detail you can get, the colors, but you are limited when it comes to color of the shirt and you have to do high polyester counts. If I was to go and get a black shirt and do this, it would not work, it would not show up. So that is kind of the limit on sublimation, but you are able to sublimate on other items such as mugs and signs and just a ton of other different things, which is what makes sublimation a popular favorite. Just know that you are limited. Like I said, if you want to offer different colors and other things, then other options might be for you, but that is sublimation. Next was the screen printing. So this is how the high color turned out for the Merry and Bright. And here is how the single color turned out for that one. I love the saying, know your worth, then add tax. This one was really cute. So with the screen printing, I did have a little bit of trouble just figuring out the pressure and all that for the high color press and the reason why is just because it's a little bit finicky but it definitely is a good option because it's very affordable it was 350 for the print for the high color print and then for the single color it was only a dollar so i think this would be a really great option for those single lettering designs very affordable so that is how these turned out i would say the texture of it it feels a lot like htv but it's more durable it feels more ingrained into the shirt than the htv does so that is how this one turned out I got them at CSDS Vinyl, and I was really impressed with the customer service and all that there, so I definitely recommend them, at least from my experience so far with them, but I, like I said, I've only ordered from them one time, but um, the prints did really well. So next is DTF, which I would have to say is a second favorite next to Sublimation. I was really impressed with just the quality. As you can see, the details are extremely crisp and it looks really good and the feel of it is a lot softer it feels more ingrained in the shirt than the screen print so i would say that if you were going to pick between high color screen print and high color dtf i would pick the dtf for sure just because of the details you can get and between these two you can do them on any fabric content shirt which is really cool and a very good pro as with the sublimation you can't so I think that that's a really good pro to these, but I had no errors at all with the DTF. They were extremely easy to press and only took a few seconds. So that's definitely a pro to that. So remember Nita and Eric are who I got this from and I will link their shop down below. Send them a message because I know a lot of their prints and designs are not on their website, but if you message them with the custom designs, they can help you out with that because they have like a lifetime drive for this um, 
designer. So that's really cool. So anyways, send them a message if you want to get some DTF prints. I was highly impressed with the quality. Okay, so final thoughts. I say if you're okay with doing white shirts and you're okay with high polyester, go with the sublimation. It's just a good, versatile option, very easy to press, and usually no issues. Um, and the, the price point, like I said, if you do it yourself, pretty low. And then if you purchase them, it's around, all, all of these are really the same price when it comes to transfers. It just depends who you get it from, who's willing to fit more into a transfer um, and all that stuff. So sublimation is a number one for me if you're okay with the white. Now, if you wanna add high color options, so these details over here, and you wanna put them on other color shirts, I would go with the DTF for the high color, or the high details, just because look at the details, and it was really easy, um, and like I said, I didn't mess up any of those, so I think that this would be my choice when it comes to these kind of designs, and if you're wanting to do the single color and just have like, Stuff like this, I, I would definitely go with the screen prints because you can get them for only a dollar and you can't beat that. And you can find so many different sayings and designs out there for screen prints. So this is what I would go with with this kind of thing. This is what I would go with for this kind of thing. And for white shirts, I would go with sublimation. So I hope that that makes sense. HTV, you know, it's great and all, but for the quality and for the price, I would go with these other options just because there's more out there. So I hope that this made sense and wasn't too much blabbering, but that is my opinion on all of these. I'm really impressed with all of them though, guys, and I just wanted you to see what's out there so you can make the decision for yourself. And there is definitely more options out there other than sublimation and HTV. You can get all these other cool prints. So hope that you guys enjoyed this video.